Next up on Howler for an hour, we have Bright Paw. Bright Paw is a bit of a puzzle game, I guess you could say. It's starring a cat. Also, this game flashed a really quick announcement about this possibly having a seizure warning, so heads up to people that need to worry about that, so be careful, please. But let's go ahead and start up Bright Paw and see what we have going here. I believe this is also possibly on mobile, which is kind of a thing of suspicion for some games, but I think for what this game is trying to be, there's nothing wrong with that. Oh. There you are, Theo. Theo. Honestly, it's your own dream. Mm. Do you even know where you are? A beach. Ah oh, well, it's time we got you sorted out with these cards. Come on now, we haven't got all day. Please let me know how the volume is. I said that earlier, but let me know how it is now that we have people yammering. <laughs> Tap and hold the card to preview and release to play it. So this is kind of a card-based movement thing. So for instance, move Sorry about that. like that. Just give that rewind button a tap, and we'll see if we can't start walking around things instead of into them. If you ever find yourself in a pickle, just remember that you can take a step back and try something else. Okay. Now, give these a whirl and see where they get you. Sounds a bit soft. Audio is fine. Gosh, you guys. I mean, I'm glad to get different opinions. I suppose I'll turn up a teeny bit more. Maybe my headphones are just... You know what? I should probably turned my headphones up a bit much, actually. There, yeah, I turned up just a tad. You like their, you like their accent? Pipipo, chap. <laughs> Can I, like, rotate the view? Oh, wait, actually, hold on. Can I... Does that do it? Does that do it? I don't... I'm going to... No? I mean, I can't see where I'm walking, but whatever. There. Oh. Okay. Look, I I understand. There you go. Remember, Theo, you can look around at any time. I always find it odd when the tutorial doesn't let you do something until it tells you to do it. I actually couldn't rotate the camera until it told me how to rotate the camera. Isn't that a little counterproductive? Like, if I figure that, if I need that and figure that out early, isn't that just a fine enough thing? Why, why actually lock off access to a feature until the tutorial tells me about it? That's kind of weird, you know? Alright, anyways. What? Object? Collectible? Sure. Shelter 1-1. One, one. Odd cat box. A strangely familiar but otherwise nondescript box washed up in the shores of Theo's consciousness. Subconsciousness. Hmm. I wonder what that's doing sitting around here. I was actually really confused because I was like, before I actually advanced it, before I advanced it far enough to get the camera access, I got very confused there. So, so I'm guessing this card and this card. Act one, murder. Things escalate quickly. There's something else in another one of the cages. Well, there's cats. But apparently that was one of one collectible for that area, so. Ah! What was that? Oh, okay. Um, well. After being woken unceremoniously by a sudden noise, our hero Theo felt that if he was to be kept awake, he deserved to know why. I is this like Stanley's parable for a cat? Kind of. I see that. Theo's bed. Warm coffee and tipping. A reminder of hazy dreams. So I just need to click on things. Nathaniel's recognition. It is always a cause for celebration when genius is recognized. What's that genius is kind of a dick anyways. What's this? Joshua's acceptance letter. An acceptance letter for tutelage is a prestigious school. Perhaps proof that genius is hereditary. Hmm. Alright. I found the eye. Is that a... F On the desk there. Right here. That is from that one game. That one game where the people that grab each other and throw themselves, throw each other into pits. It was a fighting, kind of a stupid fighting game sort of thing. What's that game called again? Fall Guys? No, is it? Nah, actually, yeah, it might have been. Gang Beast! That's it. Gang Beast. That's the specific one. Okay, 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 narrator. I get it. Can I go in the wrong door and piss off the narrator like standing at this parable? <laughs> There's only one door, though. Yeah, Gang Beast. That's a Gang Beast reference. I wonder... Do these guys have a... Do the developers this have to do with that? From the kitchen, Theo wondered if he had really moved from his bed just to listen to some tiff. 
Despite the awkward pose, we'd happiness and pride are visible in this photo. Suitcase rapidly filled and suddenly cast aside. No longer intended to or cared for, but grand despite the lacks of use. Okay. Alright then. That sounds bad. <laughs> Bodies. The kitchen seemed oh. normal. Except what was that? He could see across the room. He had to take a closer look. Selby so taken by Joshua during his travels after college, sent to his parents as a memento. So, the game's got a bit of a find the hidden object trick uh, process to it, but it's pretty easy. The Yo's Food Bowl, one of the most prized possessions of the Yo. Completely devoid of answers, insider food. And that. A young boy is cat. Whoever said dogs are a man's best friend had clearly never seen this photo. Dogs are a man's best friend still, though. <laughs> cats can fit it, cats can sub in too, occasionally. Um. I like how I'm immediately finding the collectibles, by the way. I'm not even, like, clicking on multiple objects. I'm just going right for the ones I need. I'm like, that looks important. Click, and I'm right. Alright, anyways. Uh... God. Oops, I think I... couldn't believe what he was seeing. His family. Motionless on the floor. But that was it. No gun. Nothing at all. Was someone else here... I think I actually did that. Well, actually, maybe I did that right. I don't know. Let's see if I have enough moves to get there. As he turned I do. away, Theo could only think about one thing. Someone was surely responsible for this. I mean, he had to know who. Obviously, somebody's responsible. <laughs> People don't just randomly die. At least most times. Not not two at once. <laughs> Cautiously examining the hallway. Theo saw no signs of the killer. Instead, he found a path of destruction carved through strange machines before him. Grandfather Clock. Like all castle clocks, this rhythmic ticking is a constant reminder of the universe's slow march to infantry. Thanks, I needed that existential nightmare. Um, this out of place robot. Strange robot say in the front room and fall into pieces. Uh, okay, I actually can't find the third object. Oh, there it is. It's the painting. Nathaniel's graduation. Optimism of youth, oblivious to the crushing disappointment of reality after formal education. This game is this game's kind of bleak. Oh, whoops. Uh, that one. The deeper into the room Theo moved, the more he realized that something was amiss. I mean, that bright duh. Red hadn't always been there, had it? Something's amiss. No, the murder didn't tip him off, but the robots did. Oh, Andrew the Kitsune. Not two at once, a broke glass beside them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Although he could not shake the image of his departed owners, Theo suddenly found himself somewhere very different indeed. How do we use the elevator? To appreciate his new surroundings, he found his attention drawn to the glowing hot wall of energy in front of him. We used an elevator. Well, I guess cats can jump up and hit buttons, but it'd be very hard. Ruined security bot. A modern, a threatening-looking robot rendered immobile and useless. It has angry eyebrows, so thus it is very threatening, but unfortunately it's fallen over, which I guess means it can't shoot, which is probably good for us. Wait, how many? Was there only one? Did it say one of one? All the other rooms had three, but it looks like there's only that one this time. Did anybody notice? Because I can't see to pull it back up. <laughs> Alright, good. Uh, oh, I, I, I see how this works. What? All right. Faced with something so clearly hazardous, he thought it might be wise to take a moment to think before diving headlong into oblivion. Can I die? I kind of want to know now. No! Yes. <laughs> and the narrator freaks the fuck out. <laughs> Which is understandable, really. Pleasant surprise. After his daring maneuver, Theo found that he was still alive. 
Unfortunately, there were... Clearly, Theo didn't have time to mess about with the killer on the loose. Perhaps that vent offered a way forwards. I like how we spontaneously explode when the lasers hit us. Still somewhat tense from his previous trial, Theo was immensely relieved to find no deadly lasers when he emerged from the vent. On the other hand, he was instead faced with a functional, frantic, and quite soggy security robot. So like how the security robot was attempting to f deal with a leak. Janitor. For, uh, janitorial bot. For so the spinning their wheels attempting to clean up after someone else. Fish. A comfortable flatfish. A fish who goes by the name Fergus, whose daily gaze wards off even the hungriest of felines. Alright. What be number three? Oh. Apparently I'm more than just an observer. I'm also a ghost in this world. <laughs> Alright, what's what's number... Th okay, I found two. Where's the third one? Oh. There. See mine advertisement. Need to safeguard your underwater assets? These marvels in explosive technology will quickly demonstrate the me and private property. I don't know about just selling sea mines, but okay. Um... Scattered by the distracted machine, Theo found himself eyeing the whole riddled aquarium. Either someone was stalking the halls, shooting at water features, or the security needed to work on their aim. Can I like? No. I think this. I think this janitorial robot is just here to demonstrate the idea that there are other entities in this game. And they move on their own turns. So fair enough. Uh, also, I think I did that wrong. I, I think I, I... This movement system, you know, it does make me wonder, though, why? Like, that might, seem, that might seem like a simple question, but think about it. Like, why do we move like we do? Also, whoops. Uh, actually, no, that might be useful. Or maybe not. This feels a little off kilter, but let's see. No, no, that's wrong. I was on the right path? Was I? Maybe I just misinterpreted. fish was enticing, it was offset by the risk of an unexpected bath. Rather than contemplate such a terrible fate... Oh yeah, you're right, I am. No, wait. To make a quick exit. I was already on the right path, you say. I just repeated that path. Tell me more. Wait, actually... Oh yeah, it does work, okay. Gotta yeah, remember that the, it's not... Theo moves in relation to his facing direction. There we go. Stealth. Oh. Advancing cautiously, Theo was encouraged by the sight of another aquarium. This time with the water safely inside, not threatening to unpleasantly dampen his fur. There was no time to fish, however, as security appeared to be taking its job a touch more seriously. That one looks kind of scared. Starfish. Alive? Not dead. Not sure. Dead? Maybe. A phase by the current situation? Definitely. Probably not dead if it's taken to the glass. Gold cat statue, and over it, but a befitting show of respect to this true superior life on Earth. Hashtag eye roll. <laughs> I'm a dog. I don't think I agree with that. <laughs> Handgun advertisement. Reliable, concealable, effective. A must-have side art for the professional hits person. Comes with a variety of upgrades to fit your style and need. Hits, hitch person. Bright Paw Industries is evil. Okay. Also, how do I get here from my house? If could be easily distracted, he knew when it was time to focus. Shush, I'm getting in collectibles. Okay. How, how does this work? Tearing his attention away from the unattainable, Theo delicately stepped between the broken remains of some very expensive looking showpieces. Just stare him down. Ow. Never mind. Just stare him down. Intimidate him. No. 
Also, that seems like a choice of path. How does that work? Oh, I see. I just press when I... I get it. His lack of any understanding of fine art, he was disgusted by the wanton destruction before him. That was easy. Mm -hmm. Having successfully weaved past the searching eyes of the guard, he was over. It's time, Minya. He could just follow the killer through a door instead of crawling through the ventilation like a rodent. What rodents are bad now? <laughs> rodents are bad. <laughs> Must be in America. Oh boy. Hello, receptionist. Cast his eyes about the grandiose room, the impressive decor marred by the smoking wreckage of robotic guards. Clearly, someone with no respect for interior design had been this way. However, hanging over the remains of a reception desk, Theo spotted something that took his interest. Bright Paw Industries. Betty Machine offers a variety of villainous beverages, unfortunately not designed to be used for felines. Didn't stop us from using the elevator. <laughs> reception bot. Those robot can't stop panicking if we use the abandoned position of the reception desk. That's dedication. <laughs> Alright, what else can we click? We can't click these plants, but we click the earlier ones. Well, that's just inconsistency right there. This place was impressive. Theo knew he had precious little time to admire it. Oh, there we go. Bright Paul sign, a proud majestic company sign out of place amongst the debris. I feel like on golf has something to say about that, except for he's not saying a word. Alright, let's see here. Robots got the zoobies. Despite the damage, the underlying class of this Bright Paul establishment was clear. The placement of several large aquariums, brimming with exotic fish, was an inspired design choice that Theo could respect. Theo crossed the room, breathing in the intoxicating fragrance of fish, while taking care to avoid the remaining hazards. I found another <laughs> found another gang beast. <laughs> why was a place like this situated beneath his home? And more importantly, why had these fishy treats not been brought to his attention before? The only problem I have with the narrator is I'm solving the game way faster than he's talking, but um, it feels like these are supposed to be collectibles too, but I, they're not clickable. At first glance, it appeared that Theo had stumbled into a storage room for broken glass, except there were other items in the glittering fragments. Grenades, missiles, an umbrella. Classic bomb. When it comes down to it, sometimes bad guys just want the classics. Trick umbrella. Raider Shy. This is simply the first choice that fits in outfits. The inside to cover weapon will turn heads or remove them, and it's suitable for horrible vents. It's always good to have a multi purpose weapon. Patrol bot. Oh, what? <laughs> patrol bot! A security robot overly focused on its patrol route. The biggest threat is actually being run over. Which is apparently quite a threat for a cat. Um. Oh, I want to follow him. That makes more sense. Theo padded behind the guard, pondering his discoveries. A hidden underground facility, robotic security, and now rooms filled with odd weapons. What on earth was this place? Looking back, Theo considered that it was perhaps unwise to leave such destructive toys lying around. On the other hand, there was no way someone would leave live explosives on display. Hmm. Probably best to ignore it and hurry on. <laughs> Umbrella guns remind you of the movie Kingsman. I don't think I've seen Kingsman. Theo contemplated the ruins of the once magnificent boardroom, 
which had been reduced to little more than burnt mahogany by some kind of explosion. Apparently, the killer had needed to clear the room in a hurry. But why? Laser. Oh, perhaps those lasers were a motivator. There, I swear to God, if you're talking and blathering, waste enough time to get these lasers to kill me. Um, trap chair. These chairs are designed to help establish dominance in a meeting by disposing of undesirable entities. Fair enough. <laughs> Gotta have that in an evil, evil corporate lab, I guess. Nathaniel's dealings, when Nathaniel might foolishly consider his first real success in life, immortalized, sealed by a handshake and immortalized in print. Hmm. Grenade advertisement. Need your enemies to disappear in a hurry? Would you prefer them to be in pieces? Then these are definitely for you. Caution. Good throwing arm not included. That's why you get a grenade launcher. I should see it. What's it about? Mm -hmm. It'd be cool if you could drag the cards. Yeah. So we're in a hurry here. With the wall of death slowly advancing, Theo scrambled for a plan to slip by. There, across the room, a shattered glass wall offering a glimpse of escape. Oh, what? Where? Oh. But... Okay, I, I don't quite understand, but alright. Definitely avoiding glass with his paws. Theo found his eyes oh. drawn to a large portrait. Oh! Yeah, that makes sense. Was that Nathaniel? As he stood, he wondered. How much of all this was his master responsible for? Do you really want to be wondering in this situation? There we go. The cover came to me, basically, so it worked out. Well, no, I came to the cover. I just didn't see the cover. Act 3, Moto. I wonder how long this is. Storefront. Okay. Someone had clearly been rifling through the deliveries recently, though they didn't seem to have found what they were looking for. Ransack crates. A collection of crates? Turn over in desperate search. Box of empty vials. Box torn open and abandoned. Leave the vials within untouched. What could these be for? Patrol blot blueprints. A technical specification for a bright, bright paw industry security robot. Surprisingly simple. There's mines? Oh yeah, there are. British kid gets recruited to Secret Service. Huh. Doesn't sound bad. Obviously, the killer had been looting the facility, and it was unlikely that they planned to use volatile weaponry to spread peace and joy. Being a conscientious cat, Theo knew it fell to him to put a stop to the killer's nefarious activities. Well, I'll say I beat these levels a lot faster if it wasn't for the narrator talking so much, but I'm waiting for him to finish. <laughs> Finding himself inside a warehouse, the towering stacks of crates gave Theo some measure of hope. Perhaps the killer would try to search the top of an unstable pile and fall to their doom. Then again, I notice I'm not actually allowed to even move until the narrator starts to spiel. <laughs> sea Seamine crate. So they built to sink ships will have no trouble with an overconfident cat. Not for prodding. Hefty weapon case. Sadly, none of these weapons of destruction appear to be built with paws in mind. The world could be a very unfair place. Yes, because cats need access to missiles. Mm. Lost in daydreams of the killer being buried no. alive. No, conveyor belt. Fear stepped blindly forwards onto a conveyor belt, promptly shuffling him away from his happy thoughts. Simple enough. Perhaps it was unlikely that the killer would be ended by fallen cargo. But the belts leading into the dark and deadly machinery seem to promise an untimely demise. Conscientious cat. Yeah, it's a bit of a. That's a bit of a. It's a bit of a. Uh, disparate statement, I suppose. Spotting a bundle under some nearby crates, it appeared Theo's wishes had been heard. However, he tempered his excitement until he could get a closer look. Completely average box. Own up the crate. Very interesting. Close to the definition of scraping the bottom of the barrel. You maybe click on it, game. It's your own fault. Looted explosive crates. Tipped over a crate that should be filled with explosives, but is worryingly empty. All right, let's see. Stepping over a broken belt with great care, he was disappointed Oops. to discover not a body, but simply several empty crates bearing the label "high explosive." Hmm. Oh. Mm. Oh, 
Oh, I'm dumb. I see. I see what I'm supposed to do here. No, no, no. I do kind of don't like. I don't. I kind kind of don't like have to wait for the card to be in the right position. It also the way the the cards the cards that have two options they fade between the options, which is really not good. I'd rather they just blip between the options, like blip. Flip like all of a sudden because then it'd be very clear what option you're on. But when the options are fading out in and out of each other, it's hard to tell which one you're choosing. You know. The empty crates led Theo to conclude three things: the killer had found what they were looking for; they were definitely up to something; and Theo's work was not yet done. He moved on with the hope that the killer's loot would be enough to slow them down. It looks like I have to wait for the narrator either way. I mean, I don't mind the narrator. It's just he's. I wish he would uh, talk a little they fired at faster. I guess <laughs> I don't know. Perhaps the killer had just passed through. Hmm. The hell is it shooting? Hey up there, laser bot. There's something that's simply wonderful about lasers. Sufficient, destructive, and deadly. You know, you know where you are of lasers. I mean, yeah, unless they bounce somewhere and then you don't know where they are. <laughs> algae container. Especially designed to create to use to safely house ominous algae. By the way, it seems like I must kill the cat on each obstacle ten times to get an achievement. I, I observed that when I was getting... I, like, when I lasered the cat, it said one out of ten. And when I, uh... When I had the cat run over, it said one out of ten. So I think this... The game wants me to kill the cat ten times of each method to get an achievement. I don't personally care about the achievements, but yeah. Oh, here we go. Mysterious drawing. Lines carefully etched in concrete that regularly resemble a cat. The determination of the artist excuses their lack of attention to detail. Hmm. Uh, cat dogs don't necessarily hate cats. Cats hate dogs. That's the more important thing to note. The belt, unable oh. to tell the difference between a cat and a crate, and lacking the desire to learn, moved him once again as it would any other box. I didn't even think about how that was setting me up. <laughs> Worked out, though. Hmm. As he headed for the door, few couldn't shake the feeling that the strange blue algae was creeping steadily across the wall behind him. Is oh, it? Well, it was probably harmless. Now you made me look. Is it moving? Can't tell. I was paying attention to the lasers. Whoever Theo was following had certainly spooked these poor robots who were all consumed by blind panic. Big algae container. This crate was developed to hold large amounts of growing algae. Also functions as well as mood lighting. I mean, is this going to turn into change, but with algae instead of latex? <laughs> it's a lab. Who knows? <laughs> Alright, what else do I click? That. Odd cipher. Bizarre set of patterns with no clear meaning. Perhaps some kind of code? If it is, I can't make it out. Sure, I'll grow on you either way. Let's see. Well, I don't want to move too far forward. Oh wait, he's just gonna... Oh, okay. As he carefully padded forwards, avoiding lasers, Fear noticed the most curious drawing etched into the wall. But why would a killer stop to doodle? Oh. Too bad wait is just the command I can do. Yeah, I can't actually do any moves here, so rewind. Let's see. But that's still gonna kill me. Oh. Yeah, the game literally just wants me to die. Ten to watch. It's it just wants me to kill myself over and over again. I mean, it's pretty easy to do. <laughs> just make the area really upset. I guess the game expects me to die a lot more. Huh? <laughs> Harry screams though. <laughs> I kind of want him to go, Theo! 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 <laughs> or something. Huh? 
It's like it's look, it's the game designer's fault, not mine. I'm just pointing out how the achievement's working. Oh, you guys can't actually see, but I just earned it. I'll prove it. Oh, wait, I, you guys can't see the overlay. God damn it! You have to take my word for it. Let's see here. I think I need that card. Um, shit. How do I? Okay. How what am I supposed to do here? Yeah, let's rewind a bit more. Perhaps I need to keep that card around. But then again, I need to be on the elevator to... Hmm... I have to use that card then, because I, otherwise I can't move forward. You have to be the right? Well, how would I get to the right of it, man? Oh, I see what you're saying. I think. No, that doesn't make any sense still. Oh, wait, no, it does make sense. Because. Theo couldn't stop thinking about the bizarre graffiti he kept seeing. It was unlikely the killer was cool. taking the time for artistic creativity. Was someone else in the facility? I mean, no, the robots just spontaneously exploded by themselves. Of course, somebody's in the facility. This narrator, man. As he stepped into the room, Theo found his racing mind halted by yet another drawing of a slightly more significant scale. Huh. Abstract mural. Serious rigid geometric lines seems to take the form of a figure. Who could it be? GLaDOS? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> There's another one over there. As a cat! It's kind of a fun cat. Why can't I click that one? To examine the etching, but found it, devoid. it could be... Hmm. Gun rack. All right. Very illegal firearms. The bestseller. The I suppose. The more illegal, the better. Makes them. Makes them. Uh, makes them must buy. <laughs> Let's see. What else can I click here? A for effort, he suppose. The America joke was already made. <laughs> but good job. Oh, up there. That was hard to. Okay, that's barely on screen, but alright. AC unit, a modern miracle of air cooling technology, obviously worthy of close attention to study. Again, developer, you made me click on it, it's your fault. <laughs> alright, let's see. So that guy's gonna move. I gotcha, okay. Well, I think the most logical thing is just to wait. <laughs> and then to. Wait. No, 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 no. Well, actually. Hmm. Oh, I see. No, wait, no, I don't. <laughs> Hold on a minute. There are other conveyors, though. I think I understand. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't help me. <laughs> well, no, not even waiting would help me. You want me to wait? There, I'll wait. Yeah, that doesn't do anything for me. <laughs> I could wait here, which I might actually help more. Yeah, there we go. Who would put so much effort into these acts of vandalism? Um, maybe some kind of poorly drawn calling card. The problem is if I move forward, I get stuck. So I gotta think about this. I guess I'll move this way now. Oh yeah, this seems fine. Perhaps, he thought as he carried on, the murderer was simply an awful artist. Whatever it was, the... Mural failed to hold Theo's interest long enough for any meaning to be gleaned. 
There we go. <laughs> the fair belt started to move again as I went to the exit. According to the booming sounds of heavy industry and the massive shipping containers, Theo had found himself in some kind of loading station. Very large ship container. Most noble for its size and not the expensive hardware concealed within. Obvious tie. Bright red red knife. Deliberately knotted around rallying like a flag. It almost feels too obvious. Hmm. Okay, conveyor belts are moving. I don't know, actually. I have to just move and see. <sighs> Theo's eye was caught by something colorful and clearly out of place hanging from a rail across the room. A discarded tie. Was this some kind of taunt? It was becoming clear to Theo that the large boxes wouldn't just wait for him to cross, so he quickened his pace towards the infuriating clue. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Mm. Clearly, the killer had left this tie to send a message, but in doing so, they had left a trail for Theo to follow. Perhaps he'd get the better of them yet. <laughs> Honestly, most of these puzzles are not that hard. Or you could just kind of, like, push into them and see where you go with it. Though he was intrigued by the surprisingly expressive train waiting before him, on the other side of the tracks, a curious hole in the wall drew his eye. Perhaps the killer had made their own exit. Cover crate. Was it all? Jewels? Acorns? The gateway to another world? Sadly, due to your indifference, we will never know. I mean, I'm slightly indifferent, admittedly. It's <laughs> like it's a train robot, even notice that. Zero mission sim by Cynthia train field, but only by its self hatred over public transport. Okay. <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> what else can I click? There's one more thing. Ah. Rail route map A. A map de detailing the railway for those who struggle to remember their stop. It's just a circle. A reminder that no matter where we go in life, we're always circling around. <laughs> I don't know. Um. Oh, it's not going to move? I thought it was going to move. Stepping onto the train, Theo glanced towards his goal and noticed a strangely carefree looking robot bumbling around near a control panel. Hopefully this one wasn't a threat. It's a threat. The train began to quake. And Theo couldn't react fast enough to leap off. He had better find something to hold on to. Well. Theo was quite unprepared for the sudden velocity and found his current predicament <laughs> extremely upsetting. Thanks for yelling. Luckily, he just needed to hold on until the train moved back to the station. Safety cautious robot. A small robot. Give it their all in the name of fire suppression. Alright. It's a tongue face. Um, what else can I collect? There's two, right? Maybe whatever I have to click is up ahead, because it's actually a really big area. Alright. Hmm. Uh. Bet the narrator is Theo? You think so? Also, I messed up. I mean, that's a fair enough thing. I sure as hell can't see them because I can't even see the whole area. I really hope the other object's up, up ahead somewhere because I don't know. Let's see. I know the narrator won't advance his text unless I'm staying basically in the right place. So 
So that's kind of a hint. That looks important. Ah, oh, here it is. Flaming Bot! <laughs> it's hard to tell this robot can feel pain. Does it even know it's on fire? Maybe dead already. Come on. Let's see. Uh. That panel's gonna hit me, isn't it? Let's see. Yep. <laughs> That also counts for the road kill achievement that involves getting run over. Okay. Oh, did I just restart the- oh, god damn it. Theo was quite unprepared for the sudden velocity and found his current- Was there a rewind button or was I- was I half- did I have to restart there? That's fine, whatever. Oops. Right. As the hatch broke free and rocketed past him, Theo pressed himself against the train and vowed to dedicate the rest of the ride to keeping his eyes open for low flying objects of feline destruction. You may need to grab the collectibles again, you think so? Oh shit, you're right. Good call. <laughs> Gonna loop around, why bother? Yeah, I'm kind of wondering that myself, actually. <laughs> also, how do we know that? Well, we did see the blueprint, but I'm wondering how the Theo knows that. Alright, click that guy. Um. Right, so this time we don't get hit by that. Good. Theo tried not to let the burning robot distract him from his efforts to survive. Good enough reason. Oh. Well. Let's see here. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Alright then. That's better. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I know, but how did Theo know? That was a very long level. The extremely limited options make these puzzles super easy. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Like, if it's just movement options and weight options, I was kind—I of, was thinking that the game would introduce more cards, you know, giving giving more complexity. But I think the biggest thing. Staggered off the train quickly, driven by his newfound appreciation for solid ground and the terrible fear that it might suddenly set off again. Levels. The uh, music's pretty decent. I'll give you that. Just ahead of him, he could see that bloody robot that had sent the tra Oh, <laughs> this counts as a different level. All right, so there's a new thing. Can you can you train control panel, complex control panel that's clearly been tampered with. In the first place. I think I was the only one. All right. 
Yeah, like I would think that this would have more cards. As he followed the irritating machine through the jagged opening in the wall, Theo hoped that he wouldn't ever have to lay eyes on it again. But in addition to that, the other problem this game has is, um, what's the logic? Like, I feel like this game really needs a reason. Like, the cat has some sort of, like... Theo eyed his new surroundings curiously, noting the piles of unused tiles and pipes. Across what little floor existed, there was a sharp drop from which a lava, of course, and tremendous heat emanated. It's a, it's a veil layer. There has to be lava. Sat, uh, that bloody robot. It, it's a villain. It's a villain. It's a villain hideout. Of course, there's lava. Uh, but when I was yeah, and also a uh, lander. I pointed that out earlier. Um, the main problem is like, shut up for a second. I'm trying to talk. That it did not exist. Shush. What I was saying, um, basically I feel like it's weird that the cat has this, this card-based movement. Shut up already! <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what I was trying to say was I don't understand why the card is, why the card system exists. Why is the cat limited to certain movements? Why is the cat limited to a grid? I feel like this could have had a story reason. Uh, you know, some sort of reason to... Like, maybe the cat has a billy or gets hooked up to a machine or something and it has, like, a cybernetic or... Whatever. Something that gives them a reason to be on this route. To be having the card system. But no, it's just a normal cat that happens to be stuck to this card system for some reason. It's weird. Um, I, I, also, yes, I know there's one playable card. I was trying to talk. I was trying to talk! Because I... Focused on the path ahead, see? Choosing to politely ignore the annoyance in the room. Because... A shifting wall of energy was barring his progress. As just That's demonstrated, that strange machine would help. As just demonstrated, if I move, he starts talking again. So I want to finish my statements before moving forward. <laughs> yeah, I better click the items now. Building materials. These stacks of materials are most likely intended for construction purposes. The okay. odd humming technology clearly had something to do with the barrier in his way. Also, the narrator thinks I'm a fucking idiot if I take five seconds to do anything. Apparently. Electric robot. A bu busy little drone. Making sure the power is in the right place, hopefully at the right time. Is that really a robot? It just looks like a little structure, but okay. Though he understood simple cause and effect, Theo decided to wait and see if the generator would turn itself off. With the barrier successfully disabled, Theo was happy to move on and leave that robotic liability behind. That was a complaint against the game, not you. Fair enough. <laughs> Skyward's completely non-interactive. Yeah, it's like in Stanley Parable. With limited flooring, Theo wondered why all of these rooms seemed so unfinished. Maybe the. Ugh. It was starting to look like Theo might have a tail. Uh, no, no pun intended. I mean, he does. It's not really a pun. Um, I think the problem here is like this game clearly takes a lot of page from it takes a lot of inspiration from Stanley Parable's like narrator style. Thing is, though, this is a completely different type of game, and I'm forced to listen to the narrator talk in between a lot of segments, like at the beginning and end segments, for instance. Um, in the middle, he does talk while I play, but admittedly, odd thing, I can't actually, I can't click collectibles if the narrator is talking whatsoever. So, for instance, ramshackle wall, wall made garbage and I-beams, board robots aren't the best architects, it seems. So, the problem is, Stanley Parable was interesting because you constantly had freedom of control. Uh, the, as, no matter how much the narrator talked, you could do whatever the fuck you wanted to. He wasn't in the way. The narrator wasn't in the way, he was this nice extra flavor. Um, meanwhile, here he's actually in the way. This narrator actually gets in the way of playing the game. Oh, apparently Theo's new friend had some value after all. Okay. <laughs> As the oblivious robot scampered over an obvious switch, Theo braced for the consequences. Seems when fine. When presented themselves, he decided to stay on alert. There was no way he was safe while that machine was bumping into things. That machine's gonna come with us. <laughs> All four turns only have one option. Yeah, it's it's almost just story based at this point. Contemplating the state of the room ahead, Theo reluctantly accepted that perhaps the robot's help might be necessary. 
I mean, cats can jump, can't they? Fucking, that's not much of a gap for a cat. Come on. What a lazy cat. A disparaging glance at the machine. Fear noticed some worn writing on his chassis. D four Z. Hmm. Wait, did I forget to click the collectible in the last room, or did I did I click them? I legitimately cannot remember. I think I clicked them. There's only one. There's only one, wasn't there? Uh, let's see what we got here. Love pipe! The heat coming from this pipe is so extreme, it's a wonder the whole thing hasn't melted. I mean, it doesn't matter if I miss one, really, but... D4Z. D4... Oh, shut up for a second. Out of order sign! A sign warning potential passengers of a broken elevator. Recent place. Actually, it does let me click, please. Does okay. Does he? Also, I have a problem. Daz isn't bad. I I know he thinks he's clever, but here's a big issue, right? If I stop, the narrator talks because I'm not doing things, right? Why would somebody want to not? Nope. Definitely Daz. Yeah, I find this guy kind of annoyed. Um, why would somebody stop and not take an action in a puzzle game? Show of hands, anybody have any answers for that? Why would somebody stop and not do something in a puzzle game? Can anybody answer that question? To think. To think. Now, is it easier to think when somebody is talking? Or is it easier to think when there's just silence? Maybe it's some music to help you think. Where? What's easier? Is it easier to think while somebody is talking and you're trying to listen to the words? Some of the chatter does have hints. Yes. But therein lies another issue. How many people do you find it? Do you find it fun if you're trying to solve a puzzle, right? And you're thinking hard about it. And you're like, okay, how do I solve this puzzle? And then somebody comes by and says, oh, you just have to do that. Does that make the puzzle more or less fun to solve if somebody just tells you the answer? Like I was in the middle of thinking this out. But okay, just sp just tell me, sure. <laughs> and there's the there's the point I'm trying to get across. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, it's also not. Taking my, it's not giving me. It's not much faith about my uh, skill. Also, fuck it, man. There's not that many moves in this game, honestly, because of the card system being restrictive. If I messed up, I just have to try something else. It doesn't it hasn't taken me that long even when I have gone stuff. Noise reverberated behind Theo. He wondered just what he had done to be cursed with a trundling mishap. A trundling mishap. He's helping us. His companion seemed to be some kind of cosmic setback magnet. Fio had to admit, Daz was endearing, aggravatingly so. Take it ten seconds to solve a cause to dare to give an answer. It's just, in, in, in again, in Stanley Parable, it was fine because it wasn't really about puzzle solving; it's about interacting with the narrator. Machine, Fio mourned the obvious failings of engineering safety standards. How on earth was he going to reach the elevators beyond this mess? Heavily damaged machine. That'll probably require a specialist or two. Hopefully, it's not too important. I, wonder, I do wonder, though, I, f I have a real good... This is game is giving me one of those senses that this game is not that long and we can actually finish it if I just go over time a little bit. I got a really strong sense about that. Anyways, let's do the one move we can. The other move I can. He flinched when he heard the now familiar sound of Daz activating another switch. He cautiously opened his eyes and was... Pleasantly surprised to see something positive had finally come from this robot. Also, the switch puzzles aren't really even puzzles. As Daz hurried into the elevator, he found himself growing slightly less aggrieved. Perhaps having the little fellow around might even be useful. And then he runs over Theo. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised had we seen how clumsy that robot is before. As the elevator rattled to a screeching halt, 
But would it be worth it? Perhaps. Kindly be referred to as a rough and ready bridge. Or not so kindly as an invitation to a long planet to certain death. I'm kind of wondering what the, what's the murder mystery. gracefully down onto the scaffold to aid in his journey. Oh. You can click the dialogue to advance it faster, or rather skip it. Um, okay, well, one move. And then, where's he gonna stop? I have no idea. Yeah, just move forward. Considering the barrier ahead of him, Theo wondered if Daz could assist him once more with the right. Geothermal generator! The answer to the question of why evil geniuses are always in close proximity to Megum flows. Not sure if it's worth the risk, though. I mean, guidance, of course. fair, but... A key component in the weapon manufacturing, the perfect place for a finale of an 80s air action movie. I mean, the soundtrack's pretty solid in this, so I'll give it that. Gameplay just doesn't have much going on. Tribal wa warning. Modern technology meets primitive methods. Delightful. Tribal warning? What? So, do he I need took a moment to brace himself for a potential failure on Daz's part? Uh, what exactly are we doing here? I'm actually not entirely sure. Although these puzzles have too many, this car is the only one you can play parts. I agree, it would be more interesting and more cerebral if there was multiple options. But it's really just a do the one path or you lose. <coughs> I'm a little confused as to what I'm supposed to be doing here. I mean, that was that lowers the shield. The switcher is over there, though. How do I... I don't even know that switch... Okay, what am I supposed to do with this room? Go right. Well, I can't, honestly. At least not right now. Now, let me reverse a bunch of my moves, I guess. Apparently, every time I hit the switch, count as a move. Lovely. <laughs> well, you have to start with the single tile. You're forced to, so... Then you're forced to use the double tile. So the first two moves are forced moves. If Daz is trying to stay close. Oh yeah, good point. Yeah, that caused him to change direction. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, that. Um. Okay, for sure. Found he quite enjoyed the company. Thought he the switch would turn that off. When he wasn't actively annoying him, the unlikely companion set off into the cave, ignoring the tribal warnings decorating the entrance. They were probably just for show anyway. I'm gonna check something real fast. The large chamber was filled with the clanks and groans of tortured metal, punctuated by the steady drip of stagnant oil. Give me a sec. <laughs> what, uh, what level did it say we were on? What act and level did it just say we were on? Act four? Four, six. Yeah, this goes all the way to act nine, level ten, so we're nowhere near the end of the game. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop here, then. I just uh, did a little check. To be fair, this does seem to have a fair bit of game to it. One could presume there's another... what? If, if act nine has ten levels, that means they're going up in the number of levels per act, probably. It would be fair to say there's something like 50 levels left, probably. 
I suppose. 40 to 50, maybe? Um, regardless, I think that's good for me. Hmm. Skins? For completing various hidden tasks. Say, be disintegrated ten times. Apparently, you have to die to get things. I mean, that's mildly interesting that there's skins. Um, proves that there was a reason there. <laughs> Collectibles. Actually, let's see here. Yeah, you can kind of see via this that there's quite a few. Did I miss a couple in the... Hmm. No. Probably just... Whatever. Um, you can see there's quite a few collectibles left. And, yeah, I don't know, man. Level select, here. Yeah, Act 4 helps, so. Seems like anywhere from 4 to 10 per act. But apparently, yeah, there's there's 9 acts in total. I, uh... Well, what's there to say? It's, it's... I feel like it's got the start of a concept, but then didn't actually fully deliver it. Essentially, it's just kind of a boring, do this very specific path board game, uh, card game that doesn't really have a lot of depth to it. There's no real reason as to why this cat is forced to walk certain paths via cards. Why the cat can't just move another direction. There's no particular reason. There's a for, when, you, when you have a heavy puzzle game like this, it's nice for the puzzle to have some sort of like in-game logic, which this game doesn't have. And the narrator, while certainly he does good on his voice lines, I'll, I'll, I'll say that much, he, he talks too much. He doesn't give you time to think. Um, he's just a little bit in the way, and I feel like he's honestly just... I mean, you can skip his dialogue. I learned that at the end. You just have to click the dialogue options, but... That doesn't really make it better, you know? It's like, well, I can skip his dialogue. Okay, cool. Uh, it's like... It's not that I hate it all, it's just that there's too much of it. Um, it's arguably a game. That's the thing, it's just there's not a lot of engagement here. I mean, the music's nice, and the visuals are kind of nice. I could see playing this for wanting to see what happens, sort of, but... Yeah, 510. I'm gonna go right middle of the road. Actually, no, 610. I guess it's competent enough to be high enough for a 6, but it's it's just not very... Yeah, it just feels undercooked, honestly. It feels like the start of a meal, but you didn't finish cooking it all, and there's some, you know, ingredients missing, and it's like, well, you could... You didn't go through it. You didn't go through of it. You started something, but you didn't go through of it, you know? That's what it feels like, but... Yeah, that's bright, Paw. I do think this is also available for mobile, which isn't even really an excuse... Because I feel like this could have all been done much better and still kept the same basic like input elements, but then been done better. Um, so I don't even think that it's like a limitation of being also a mobile game. Though for a mobile game, it's not the worst. I will say that, but it's, that's not saying a lot, admittedly. Um, but yeah, that was Bright Pie, I guess. I'm not I'm not downvoting this game because I'm a dog. I'm downvoting this game because it, there's just not a lot of engagement. And I think that's kind of a shame.